Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at these two circles and how we would create each of them because they're very, very different. This one is a set of lines with rounded ends that is set to a circle shape. This one is a set of lines that have edges that follow the shape of a circle and the way that you actually get these two effects is very, very different. I'm going to start with a brand new document, doesn't matter what size your document is. I'm just going to start with my lines. So I'm just going to drag out a good length horizontal line. Click on the stroke option here, make sure you have the cap set to round so we get those nice rounded ends. And the stroke width on your line can be whatever you want it to be. I'm going to draw out my circle, so I'm going to the ellipse tool. I'm just going to hold shift as I draw out a circle. Now I want this circle to be a little less in diameter than the length of my line. Let's go and select the line and apply a transformation to it. We'll choose Effect, Distort and Transform and then Transform. You'll set a vertical movement of something like about 15, 16 and then start increasing your copies. I like to use this tool because you get to see how wide the lines are spaced before you actually commit to them. And if you don't get it right, just make an adjustment to the vertical movement because that controls the spacing, the number of copies, the number of lines you end up with. This is looking really good to me. I'll click OK. Right now what we have is a line here that has an effect applied to it. So it's just right now one single line. We need to expand that, so I'll choose Object Expand Appearance. If we would have a look in the Layers palette right now, you'll see we've got our ellipse on top, but in here in the line area, we've just got group upon group upon group. I'm going to choose Object Ungroup and continue to do that until Ungroup is no longer an option. And what I've got selected right now is all these lines, so I'm just going to group them back together again, but this time I just get one group with a series of paths in it rather than groups inside groups inside groups. So I've got everything I need now for both these line effects. So I'm going to make a duplicate of this entire set, select over everything, hold down the Alt or Option key and drag a duplicate set away. Make sure that your circles, this circle here, is above the set of lines that you're working with. That's really important. It needs to be organized like that in the layers palette or this is not going to work. To create our shape that has the rounded edge lines, all we need to do is select over the lines and the circle, go to the Shape Builder tool, hold the Alt or Option key, Alt on a PC, Option on a Mac, and just drag outside the circle shape. And what you end up with is the round lines that you want. Select your circle and you can just delete it. This gives us this really, really attractive shape of lines that are cut to a circular shape, but with these nice round ends on it. Now, if you want the other result, which is the lines that look like this, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to turn the lines here let me just turn these off for the moment. You need to turn these lines here into actual shapes because it's not possible to have or to easily create a line that has edges that look like this. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to take this group of objects and we're going to ungroup them for a minute and then we're going to expand them and click OK and we end up with groups again. So we're going to do Object Ungroup. And then because we've now got paths, every one of these is a straight line path that is a filled path, not a stroked line, we can just group them back again, Object Group. Now we're going to select over the circle and these lines and we're going to do exactly as we did before. But because these are filled shapes, they're going to behave differently once we cut off the edges. So all the edges are gone. Let's go and get our circular path. We don't need that any longer. I'll just press delete. And if you have a look at this, you'll see that we've got these really nice edges on these shapes because these are now filled shapes. So when I select these, you'll see everything is a filled shape. But when I select the other one, you'll see that they are lines 
that have a coloured stroke applied to them. So there is a difference in the final result here. And one of the differences, one of the significant differences, if you like, is that if you don't like the line weight of these lines, you can alter that. So we could make these lines heavier or finer, and we're going to get the result that we're asking for here. These over here are fixed shapes, so they're actual paths. It's not going to be easy to make them wider or thicker or thinner. So just be aware of that. If this is the result that you want, make sure that you set your line weight before you go and expand these lines because you won't get another chance to do it later on. With this one, the result is a little bit more flexible. Thank you to the viewer who asked the question. I think it's a really good question. And obviously the answer is that you need different techniques for both of these results. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results, then you'll love my Skillshare content. I'm a Skillshare top teacher. I have hundreds of short courses on Skillshare that you can access along with thousands of other great courses all for the price of a single subscription. If you're interested, there's a Skillshare coupon for you in the description below to use to sign up. Using this coupon benefits me as a creator and it helps me continue to make free content available here for you also on YouTube. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. On the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you. If you enjoyed the video you've just watched, I know that you're going to really enjoy the one I've picked for you to watch next.